After Frederick and Mary were crowned, they were haunted by rumors of a crisis in their marriage. Their gestures were scrutinized, and on each appearance, they seemed much more aloof than usual. Moreover, this was not due to Frederick's cold nature, as nothing on previous occasions had indicated that this was the case. Six months after the scandal, they seemed to have overcome this marital crisis, and in their latest appearances, the Danish monarchs have tried to show how connected they are to each other. And it hasn't come easy for them. Their latest decisions as king and queen of their country have been in the spotlight, and they have had to face a lot of criticism. However, they continue to live their lives and show by their official actions that their marriage is in good shape and that they have also very clearly marked the line they want to follow with the Danish crown. After their vacation, they started their first state trip, which resulted in them having to share the stage with neighboring countries. In Sweden, they did not show much complicity, although the different looks worn by the Australians were very noticeable. In Norway, it was very different, and they behaved much more relaxed than in the first country they visited where there were some details worth noting in terms of their reconciliation. But that wasn't the only image they left in Norway. In the pictures, they can be seen completely in love, looking at each other as if there was no one else around. You could even say it's a typical scene from a romantic movie where only the two of them are important. In addition, most of the time while they were walking in the park, they were holding hands, a detail that did not go unnoticed by the various social media users who captured the footage. However, the large number of photos and gestures of love and complicity between them suggests that their crisis has been overcome and that, in particular, this trip, which allowed them to spend more time together, came just in time to show the world that they agree to make decisions about the Danish crown, burying the hatchet, and leaving behind any hint of separation or enmity between them. In these six months, many experts have emerged to try to analyze everything about the Danish marriage. In addition, May 14th marked the 20th anniversary of their marriage, a moment that surely meant something in this important step forward they wanted to take in these last romantic shows they left in neighboring countries and Mary did not miss the opportunity to assert herself as queen. The traditional 20th anniversary gift is fine china, and while Queen Mary of Denmark was certainly surrounded by gorgeous china at a gala dinner in Norway yesterday, it was her pearls that caught the eye of royal fans everywhere. Queen Mary and King Frederick celebrated two decades of marriage during their first royal visit to Norway where they were hosted by King Harald, Queen Sonja, Crown Prince Hakon, and Crown Princess Metmerit in the banquet hall of the royal palace. Amid all the royal pageantry and pageantry one would expect from a royal gala, the kings and queens celebrated the deep ties between their families, and King Frederick gave a moving toast to their Norwegian hosts. Your Majesties, dear Uncle Harold, and Aunt Sonia, the king began, Mary and I always look forward to visiting Norway. We enjoy spending time with you and the Crown Prince's family because we are not just neighbors and colleagues, but family and friends. Our countries share values, culture and history, and Danish-Norwegian ties are as strong as few. He concluded by saying Mary, and I will do everything in our power, now and in the future, to cherish all that binds us together. Although the kings of Norway and Sweden are cousins of the former Queen of Denmark, Queen Margaret, the ties that bind the families go beyond bloodlines. The Danish and Norwegian royals are good friends King Frederick was Crown Prince Hakon's best man when he married Met Merit 23 years ago and the couple became godparents to Frederick and Mary's first son. Crown Prince Christian. Queen Mary celebrated the family shared history in a more subtle way by choosing a tiara. It was the first time that Mary, 
crowned queen after Magritte's shocking abdication on New Year's Eve, wore the symbolic pearl of Poiret Tierra. This piece is considered one of the most monumental among the rich jewelry vaults of the Danish royal family. It is worn only by the country's monarchs and consort queens. The tiara, which came to Denmark as a result of the 1869 wedding of Princess Lovisa of Sweden and Norway and Crown Prince Frederick of Denmark, is a sign that Mary is assuming her rights as the newly crowned queen. According to royal historian Lauren Kean, the Poirot Pearl was a symbol of Queen Margrethe's reign. Indeed, Margrethe wore the headdress to celebrate the beginning of her reign in 1972 for her first official portrait and to mark its end by wearing the Poirot during her final ceremonial event, following the announcement of her abdication. In addition to this momentous debut, Queen Mary also wore the traditional portrait of the sovereign, framed in diamonds and gold. Of course, it was especially fitting that she wore her husband's picture so close to her heart on their 20th wedding anniversary. King Harold drew applause to recognize the couple with a warm toast at the gala dinner before addressing them directly. Dear Mary, you took on a great challenge when you fell in love with this athletic Dane King Harold said, perhaps referring to the couple's first romantic encounter at Sydney's The Slip Inn during the 2000 Olympics. You gave up much that was safe and familiar. You made Denmark and the Danes your heart, he continued, before referring to the bond between Queen Mary and his third cousin, Queen Margrethe. He concluded by saying, we think it is very nice that you have decided to celebrate your wedding anniversary tonight here with us. King Frederick and Queen Mary of Denmark have overcome difficulties in their marriage since their coronation, and their recent public appearances demonstrate a restored closeness and unity. Rumors of a crisis in their relationship are gradually subsiding, giving way to images of their mutual love and support. Their state travel has played an important role in this process, especially their visits to Sweden and Norway, where they have shown themselves not only as ruling monarchs, but also as a strong couple. A particularly significant event was the celebration of the 20th anniversary of their marriage in Norway. A gala dinner organized by King Harald and Queen Sonja highlighted the strong ties between the royal families of Denmark and Norway. Queen Mary, who chose the Pearl of Pori Tierra, symbolized her new position as queen consort and her respect for the traditions of the Danish royal family. King Harald, in his toast, recognized Mary's sacrifices and efforts and expressed his joy at their presence at this important family event. In conclusion, it can be said that King Frederick and Queen Mary, despite previous difficulties, continue to demonstrate a strong partnership and commitment to strengthening Danish-Norwegian relations. Their joint efforts show that they are ready to move forward together, making important decisions for their country and supporting each other along the way.